Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for Five Fishmiths Debunked, number three. Now, if you haven't seen the first two, um, if you're especially if you're starting out in the hobby, I definitely recommend you go check out those first two uh, videos um, in this series. But um, yeah, so let's get started. First uh, myth I'm going to talk about is uh, fish need friends. Um, basically, it sounds ridic ridiculous to um, some of you, but a lot of people I've talked to, when I tell them about my fish tank or I show them my fish tank, they will comment on the fact that I only have um, one world grandma and uh, one lawnmower blenny and things like that. And they, they feel, in their mind, they think um, many people believe that fish out in the ocean, just all, every species uh, swims around in schools. And so I, I, I see, I really, I see this a lot, where I see someone's tank that's, um, that it's usually just their first tank and they just started out in the hobby. Um, and um, I see the videos online and on forums and things like that. And a lot of times you'll see pairs of fish, which, you know, like two yellow tangs and like uh, two angelfish and two damselfish. And a lot of people think um, that their fish will be lonely if they don't, if they don't, um, get another one that is at the fish store. So, um, and that's, that usually leads to problems because a lot of, um, even if a fish is, uh, does, um, you know, has schooling nature out in the ocean, it does not necessarily mean it's going to school in your tank. The reason they school in the ocean is because it's a big, huge body of water and they need to stay around school for protection from predators. If there's no, there's no predators in your tank, so they don't need a school. And it's such a small body of water um, compared to the ocean and the reefs out there that um, it'll most likely end in um, one of the fish dying and probably a lot of aggression. I would never ever keep two royal grandmas in this tank and I would never keep two lawnmower blennies in this tank. And I would never keep more than two oscillators clownfish in this tank because it just wouldn't work. I would never be able to have, you know, four oscillators clownfish in here. They would, they would all just um, start fighting with each other. It just, it's just, it doesn't work. Do not, I definitely do not feel bad um, about leaving the fish store with only um, one fish of a certain species because I promise you, um, it'll be worthwhile and it's just, it's gonna end in disaster. Mo a lot of, even, even if fish, um, there are also a lot of fish, even in the ocean, they're solitary. Um, you know, for example, lawnmower blennies usually in the ocean um, are solitary. They're by themselves. Um, they might live to cl in close proximity to the other lawnmower blennies, but they're not going to actually, you know, um, move around together and, uh, you know, eat together and things like that. So ultimately in a tank, they would just probably, um, one of them will kill the other one. Maybe they'll both die. I don't know. It's just, it's not a, it's not a good situation. So if you can, unless it's a certain fish, and unless you know this fish, requires a school to um, thrive in your tank. Um, I never recommend you just buying um, pairs of fish unless they're um, fish you know uh, will do fine in pairs or groups or things like that. Also, cycling with damselfish. Um, a lot of people will tell you, and especially a lot of outdated um, aquarium books, saltwater aquarium books, they will tell you they recommend that you uh, cycle your tank with damselfish. However, I do not recommend this at all because Damselfish are very territorial and aggressive fish by nature, so when they are placed in a tank and they're the first fish in that tank, they dominate that whole area and they, they um, you know, basically they pick out this, your tank, your entire tank, especially if it's small, and they uh, basically believe that that is their territory. So any fish that you add after them um, will usually be bullied by that damselfish, and damselfish are very fast fish, so they are going to be very hard to... Um, take out of your tank once they're in there. Um, also, I don't I don't believe in cycling your tank with fish anyways, just because it's so uh, cruel. But um, especially not with damselfish because of their aggression. I promise you, it'll save you a lot of headaches to just um, start out with something like uh, peaceful clownfish, uh, hardy clownfish, or um, uh, chromis of some kind. But uh, yeah, definitely don't recommend the damselfish though. Um, also, cleaner shrimp or cleaner fish uh, will rid your tank of ick. Um, such as my uh, Scarlet Skunk Cleaner right there. Uh, a lot of people uh, think, you know, some of their fish will start showing signs of ick or they know that fish has ick. So they go out and they buy a $30 shrimp, cleaner shrimp, or a uh, $50 cleaner wrasse, or a neon goby or something. And then they just sit there and they say, okay, I don't have to worry about it anymore. That fish is taken care of because the cleaner shrimp's going to eat up all that ick off of him. Um, 
Definitely not true um, in most situations. I mean, I definitely would say that they um, that they uh, will prevent. They will help pr help. They will help prevent um, ick. But I definitely once the fish has ick, and once it's starting to show a lot of signs of it, and it's start starting to show that it has a lot of ick, um, most likely your clean shrimp is not gonna um, do very much to that fish. Um, so definitely do not recommend. Um, you know putting all your, you know, uh, relying on that shrimp to take care of all your issues with ick. Um, definitely just don't do that because it's not going to work most likely. And a lot of fish don't even recognize the cleaning shrimp as a, uh, for their cleaning service. My clownfish, um, I think I, I might have seen them do it once. I'm not even sure if they were uh, trying to get cleaned. It might have just been aggression. Uh, but I've never seen my royal grandma go and try to get cleaned. Really the only one I have seen is my lawnmower bunny. So not even all fish will recognize uh, cleaner shrimps um, or cleaner wrasse and try to go and get their services. Um, also, water tra changes during a cycle. Uh, when I was watching a video on how to cycle a saltwater tank, um, it was telling you about doing all these 50% water changes and all that, and I do not recommend this because doing water changes during a cycle, uh, plain and simple, it's just going to um, slow down the cycle and it's just going to take a lot longer. Um, you know, every with, with every water change you do on a cycling tank, it's just going to... Um, add to the amount of time that your tank's going to actually have to be cycling. Um, you just want your tank to be able to sit there and uh, mature uh, without any, without you going in and constantly taking out water and taking out nutrients. You just want to leave it where it is, leave it how it is. You know, if you have a protein skimmer, of course, empty that out. And of course, if you have filter sponges, clean that out during a cycle. But I definitely do not recommend you do water changes, despite um, some of the videos there online. Um, it, I, just, I just promise you it'll... I did not do any water changes on this tank, and I never lost a fish due to uh, the cycle. So, um, otherwise, if I had been doing water changes, which I was planning on doing because of that video, that certain video, um, I probably um, the the cycle would have taken me much longer. For cycling this tank, it only took me a week. So, um, yeah, and I and I added uh, Dr. Tim's uh, one and only additive or whatever you call it, which sped up the cycle. So, I definitely recommend that stuff. But anyways, also copper medication. Um, people with Fowler tanks like mine, or, uh, well not with like mine, but Fowler tanks without inverts, or just fish only tanks. Um, they believe that, you know, people will tell them, oh, well, you're fine, you don't have any corals or inverts, um, and your fish is ick, so you can just, uh, medicate your whole tank with copper-based medications. And they say, that's fine because you're, you know, you don't have any corals or inverts. That's true, it, it would be fine, it wouldn't really, um, it wouldn't harm your fish, of course. However, um... This live rock that you spent so much, live rock and live sand that you spent so much money on, um, you know, and you're relying on that live rock to be your biological, your main biological filtration in the sand as well. Um, and all those little living organisms in the sand and on the rocks are all just going to be uh, knocked out of existence by that copper medication. So basically, your live rock and your, uh, your expensive live rock and live sand are all going to become dead and all become basically. Uh, useless um, for uh, an extended amount of time until they start to mature themselves again. Um, also, a lot of people, um, when they get into the hobby, they say, oh, I don't, want to, I don't want corals. They're too complicated. They're too hard. I don't want them. Um, I never am going to want them. But then once they realize how cool corals really are, which happened to me, uh, then they kind of, um, now they want corals. So if you, copper, if you medicate your tank with copper, um, it tends to stay in there and bury itself in the sand and everything. So, you know, whenever you want to tank your, take your tank a step further and make it a reef tank or add some inverts, you're not going to be able to do that because uh, the copper is still in there, which will kill um, any invertebrates in your tank. Uh, but, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe if you like my video. Um, tons of videos to come. Uh, please thumbs up the video if you liked it, and uh, comment if you have any questions about anything I've stated in the video. If you want to say anything about my tank, if you want to... Um, a uh, uh, video request, anything like that, uh, please leave it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.